morning y'all this is david the georgia photographer this is kind of day two technically but day one officially of our tour in israel we got here yesterday in the afternoon uh, it took us so it seemed like an eternity to get through the, the passport checkpoint they had like seven planes land at once and there was this they have like 12 booths where they check passports and there was probably 400 people 500 people and to check passports not a fast thing we learned <laughs> it takes them a minute because they question you why are you here what you doing you know they look at all the passports and compare them to pictures to you and then they issue this little paper to you that tells you that you can be in israel <laughs> So, you know, they did that over and over and over and over. <laughs> we finally got through that though. And then we went to Jaffa and walked uh, down by the sea to one of the places where it's referenced in the Bible. This is a biblical based tour. So most of the places we go will be referenced in the Bible and they read the passages from the Bible where it talks about these places and then we also do kind of history lessons while we're there too. It's really interesting, but this is where I'm at today is called, uh, let me think, Natanya. That's it, it's Natanya. It used to have a, a bad reputation, so now, All right, we've made it to the airport. Oh, showing a video. <laughs> making a video. Oh, yeah. making a movie. Oh yeah, you gotta have your air, your departure footage. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking fantastic. So, where are we going? Israel. And where else? Germany. And where else? Jordan. We're at in Jordan. Padra. <laughs> And we're in Germany. We're at Frankfurt International Airport, and well, we're in the most boring part of the whole airport. Sierra's eating Funyuns. Hi. It's just here. There's nothing really to see. We we're picking up a connector over to Tel Aviv from Frankfurt, and this particular concourse has like no amenities. It has a bathroom. There's nothing here. Oh look. It happens. David, don't film me right when I'm asking you about your glasses because it makes me grumpy and then I'm going to be on there. <laughs> If I'm understanding my geography right, Jaffa and then Tel Aviv are that way. <laughs> this is the this is the Mediterranean Sea, so you know that's west, that's east. The sun's coming up over there, if you can tell. Get over there. Um, we we scored a home run on our first night. The hotel apparently didn't have a two bedroom apartment on anywhere except the penthouse so they gave us the penthouse apparently for the price of a regular room score one for me <laughs> but so we have this beautiful balcony where like i said <laughs> it's pretty amazing but it's just neat that this this is like the four seasons hotel or something and right next door is a abandoned structure so if you can tell that one right there. <laughs> Abandoned structure that people homeless looks like are living in it. It's just, it, it's just bizarre. But I'm gonna try to get some decent photography out of this, and I'm also gonna kind of just vlog the trip. So we're about to go eat breakfast. Let's do this.
All right, we have come out to Caesarea and it's an ancient Roman site. This is the Hippodrome. We just looked at Herod's pool. Uh, and this is the public toilet. Just before you go, now can you imagine, uh, you're gonna go, lots of people passing by and you just sort of sit here and do what you need to do. So privacy has gone in and out of uh, fashion in time, okay? I was gonna vlog from up here, but I'm thinking that's probably a bad idea. The wind, maybe we'll pick a different spot. Check out these horse stables from several thousand years ago. Not much left. We're at Tel Megiddo. We're on top of a mountain, a man-made mountain pretty slick. You ain't never seen anything like it. It's worth seeing. The Elamana letters. They spoke them in the Runic. Or it might be something like this. This is a seal. Unfortunately, this seal, it was found by Schumacher, I think, was lost. That's not a water source. That was a public grain bin. Oh, now the wind's going to pick back up. It stopped while Kiki was explaining it. I don't feel so hot today. I don't know if the jet lag's caught up with me or if I got motion sickness in the car. I'm feeling a little better, but it's put a real hamper on activities. Years old. It's interesting. It's olive trees. see here this is the this is Sunday I'm pretty sure I feel much better today I don't know what was going on yesterday took the Dramamine made me super sleepy didn't feel like doing much at all after that basically I slept on the bus every time it stopped or went somewhere and went to sleep when I got back to the room it was terrible probably gonna skip this a few days just grab a bunch of photos reduce the burden because we do a lot of walking and then we do a lot of riding and it's really hard to keep up with the camera. This is a very event packed trip so it's very it's very busy and I don't have time. Yeah. Let's see.
That's the Sea of Galilee. I really don't know the name of this town or this one. Literally a cliff face. Got a few photos of some cut stone work on top of it. What's name is Mountain John? Arbel? Top of Mount Arbel. Overlooking the Sea of Galilee. Looks to me like water collection basins. Because they all had channels leading out of them. That was the speculation by the tour guide too. I tend to agree with it because of the way it's made. They're just little flat areas with a channel cut out of one corner. Looks like it was just run down into a collection basin. It's kind of neat because you can still see the chisel marks. I'll be honest with you. That jet lag had me beat up real bad first couple of days. Eddie was nice enough to give me a couple of Dramamine, which made me super groggy yesterday. But it allowed me to at least cope with it. And I was able to sleep good last night and got a decent supper in me. And I haven't even had motion sickness today in the car. We're riding in a van. I'm prone to get car sick real easy. And I, I, I weathered that just fine today. So maybe all is well now that I've got past the jet lag. But apparently it beat me up pretty good. That eight hours or nine hours to Germany and then four more hours to Tel Aviv was, took its toll. We traveled for like 24 straight hours. It was a long way. Okay, we're in Northern Israel. This is interesting to me because of three things. One, we're at Tel Hazor. That's as close as my American accent will allow me to get it. But just over that mountain is uh, Palestine and the Hezbollah, as she said, if they were on top of that mountain, they could see us as we can see them and over there it's hard to tell but in that distance you can see a ridge line that is the golden heights or maybe we're north of the golden heights at this point but no that's syria oh. over there is syria both of those countries are not friendly to israel they she said they have an active ceasefire with syria but nothing with lebanon they just don't shoot at each other is all they've got literally it's like an unspoken agreement <laughs> man and we're up here in this little sliver of israel at tel hazor now here's the interesting part to me these rocks are made of basalt all right you can't cut basalt with metal tools you have to use something like diamonds to cut square blocks of basalt this is like some of the earliest stuff they found here in their archaeological digs right over there. There's a bunch. They found like the gate that Solomon's reign built is right there, you know, and it's built on top of this. A tell is a man-made hill with layers of civilization. We learned a lot of stuff about history while we're here. These basalt rocks, these are interesting because they have drilled holes in them that are flat-bottomed, and those are spiral cuts. How do you do that without with tools that won't cut basalt. Figure that out. That's just interesting. I just wanted to share that with you. But I thought it was cool that you got rocks that can't be made, but yet they're here. You have Syria right over there, Palestine right over there, and then we're in Israel in between them. 